Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer here with this morning mountain weather update. So it's really all about this Pacific pattern now, 119 through about 128. It's a long-term thing. It's going to be much warmer where the bulk of the precip now will, will hit the West Coast, California, Oregon, Washington, and BC. And that's what's happening right now on radar. That's where all the precip is. What will happen beyond that is we're going to get a couple of southern track lows and just waves of moisture that will be blown into the interior. Let me take you over to my, uh, my latest bullet points here this morning. Here's what I'm seeing. So we're in the Pacific pattern now. It's going to be warmer with a str strong subtropical jet really driving the action. Uh, there's a couple of southern track lows that will benefit the four corners. And California, you've got snow coming, 120 to 122. But again, with this flow, it's going to be a much higher snow level. 7,500 feet is the min. So if you're above that, you're going to get the better snow. Um, in, in Utah, Colorado, Wyoming, you have some snow coming. We're not talking about anything huge here. Probably light to moderate accumulations. Um, probably afternoon, evening of 120 through 122. Again, it's a different snow quality with these warmer temperatures than what we've been dealing with as of late. All right, let me take you back. I want to show you just briefly water vapor at the shower and uh, kind of just show you what the pattern is. So you've got an area of low pressure here really kicking off this Pacific pattern, moving in with all of this moisture. I mean, there's another area behind it. There's another area of low pressure there. It's a really big area. It's, it's, it's a large trough out here that's setting up with the strong subtropical jet, which is this right here, guiding everything like a conveyor belt. It is the mechanism driving this, and it's going to be here for a while. Here's the forecast radar and satellite. So that's the situation by this afternoon. It really hasn't changed. It's all west coast up into the Pacific Northwest. So here comes that snow out of California, 120, 121, 122. And again, you got to be above 7,500 feet to get the best snow. Shasta will do really well with this. And then watch what happens. So it sends moisture into the interior, waves of moisture, kind of ragged. Um, but there's a southern track low right there, 121 into 122, that spins down through Vegas and then eventually the four corners. You can just watch it spin there. Here's 122, uh, some snow there for Colorado. And then here comes the next storm system in, into California. It also spits out a southern track low right there. You can kind of see it going down through Arizona and New Mexico, 123, 124. And then another storm hits the Pacific Northwest. So it's the same pattern. Storm system hitting the west coast and then pieces of those storms move into the interior states. All right, let's talk about the jet stream here. This is the, uh, the jet tomorrow on 120. Look at that powerful subtropical jet just bringing in the warmer air and those little, uh, those little southern track lows. Uh, keeps them rolling. Here's the, uh, the pattern on 123. It's the same thing, uh, guiding storm systems into the west coast. You can see a trough they're spinning through the four corners. That's one of those southern track lows. And then 128, I mean, there's just no cold air with this. It's all bottled up into Canada, locked away. And with this pattern, uh, there's a bit of high pressure even across uh, the southwestern part of the United States. So, yeah, it's just a totally different pattern than what we've been dealing with here. Here's the new grand total map. So the rest of today through 128, uh, nothing big. Uh, two to eight inches in Colorado, maybe six to eight in the Wasatch, 8 to 10 through the Tetons, and potentially 10 to 20 um, from Mammoth to Heavenly at higher elevations. If you're above that 7,500 foot mark, you're going to get the, the bigger accumulation. Quite a bit in Shasta. And then uh, the other big numbers are up there in BC in parts of the Pacific Northwest. Let me zoom in. So this is the I-70 corridor, central to northern mountains of Colorado. Again, nothing big here, 119 through 128. Uh, two to eight inches will probably do it. Going a little further west, four, five, six inches through the West Elks from Indy Pass, Capital, Snowmass down to Crested Butte, 119 through 128. Uh, by time period, today into tomorrow, uh, there isn't a whole lot. It's very light accumulations unless you're in California at higher elevations. Then you're going to get some, some decent accumulation. Here's the second period, 121 through 128. Some of the, the moisture that hits the West Coast, you can see it now spreading into the interior states through Utah, Wyoming, Colorado, roughly that, that 120 through 122 time frame. And again, there's a couple of southern track lows as well. Let's go to the Northeast. Last stop. I don't have anything major here, even as of this morning. Um, two to eight inches with a couple of waves late in the period for some light to moderate snow accumulation, and that's probably going to do it. All right, guys, there, that's it for the morning mountain weather update here on this Friday. I hope you have a great day, and I'll talk with you later.